Prime Day Amazon sellers. In this video, I'm going to show you some live Amazon online arbitrage product research where we're going to be looking on some sales retailers have going on to compete with Prime Day for some products to flip on Amazon for a profit. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 24-year-old seven-figure Amazon online arbitrage seller where I flip name brand products that I find on big retail websites like Kohl's, Dick's Sporting Goods, Nike.com on Amazon for a profit and I show you how to do it on my channel. If you're interested in working directly with me to scale up or grow your existing Amazon online arbitrage business, I'd encourage you to apply for my mentorship at the link in the description. Let me know any questions in the comments about anything you see in this video. I answer all the comments. Let's get after it. I saw Dick's Sporting Goods was having a really big sale. This is one that I've had some success with over the years. So we're going to see what we can do and see what products we can find to flip for a profit on Amazon. How this works basically is so, say we find a deal on Dick's Sporting Goods that makes sense to flip on Amazon. We would then place a small test order, ship it to ourselves or to a third party prep center warehouse, and then they would go ahead and send it off to the Amazon FBA warehouse right there. This is not drop shipping. And unfortunately, regardless of what gurus say online, you can't ship directly from the supplier to Amazon in 99.9% .9 of cases. So. What we're going to do is we're going to find profitable products, then we're going to place a small test order to ourselves, then we're going to label and send those products off to Amazon. If you're unfamiliar with what that process looks like, I'd encourage you to watch a YouTube video on it because then you can, you know, nice to see what the labeling process and such looks like. But what we're talking about today is product research and we can see big summer deal going on. Um, it actually ends today, which is the 12th right here. So we can take a look at clearance right here and see what we can do. So we're going to take a look at stuff that's on sale. Um, specifically, we're going to filter into the brand Nike right here, and we can see there are a couple thousand products. Yeah, right here, it's like 2,000 products. We can filter um, even more specifically, one, two, and go men's right here. Um, and now we can see a bunch of products that are on really, really large clearance. And then we can go ahead and take a look at okay, what do we think will do well on Amazon? What's a basic color, right? What's like, you know, the Nike sportswear brand and stuff, and open up listings that I think will do well on Amazon. Now, I have a lot of context around what that looks like, right? Because I've, you know, had a lot of experience with it. Um, over time, you're going to build a tolerance for that and, you know, become better at it and, uh, and everything. But let's see, like, for example, I just don't see these selling for like 200 plus, which is what they would need to be to be profitable with all the Amazon fees and stuff. Um, I could see this one selling at uh, above 25, right? Or above 30 bucks. I completely could, right? Um, I don't think I could see these selling for like 60 plus. I don't think I could see these selling for 120 plus. Uh, maybe actually, um, this dry fit T-shirt I could see that being you know 35 bucks plus. We already opened these um, hoodies. Don't think I could see those at 70 plus. Right. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm assessing the one to two rule, which is the idea that for something to be profitable on Amazon, you have to find it for um, you you have to find it for half or less of what it sells for on Amazon. Right, so for something to be profitable, it's gotta you know sell for double or more, right? So we can keep rolling right here. I'm just kind of assessing this on the fly, seeing okay, what do I think we'd sell for double or more on Amazon right here? Okay, let's see. So these uh, sweatpants right here. Let's see. So some of these are out of stock. 29 alligator, 22 right here. So let's type this in. So alligator Nike sweatpants. Okay, club jersey jogger. I believe these match. Very right, cool. Okay, yeah, it's the same dude in the photo too. Okay, so let's see. So we're paying 21 bucks, right? And they got a bunch of sizes in stock, right? And now, um, yeah, okay, cool. So if these are like 45 plus, we're going to be in business. And we can see, okay, so these are 40 right here. The nice thing is that they're at 40, but this seller who's in the buy box currently is also charging shipping, right? And then we can see over on seller amp here, it has the private label alert. However, that's due to it just being very, very low competition. Right here, so at a uh, 21 22 dollar buy cost right here. Um, now that's going to put us at about 13 dollars profit, a 27 percent profit margin, and about a 60 percent ROI. Now, I don't have sales tax factored in right here, so it's probably going to be an additional five to ten percent based, based on where you live. That still puts us right around a 50 percent ROI right here. And then we can validate the demand by going ahead down here and taking a look at the Kiba chart. Um, now, the problem here is we can see that um, the competition has remained stagnant for a while. Um, and it did actually just go down briefly right there. Um, so this product probably doesn't sell that much. Um, however, something like this, I would consider dropping the price to get it moving a little bit quicker. 
um, right here, but we can see the competition doesn't drop that often right here. So while it might be that these sellers just have a lot of reviews and they're just perpetually in stock um, right here, this product probably doesn't sell too much. So if I were going to grab this, I would probably just grab a couple units right here. And then we can see a, so a size large right here. Looks like a pretty similar deal. The buy box is at 46. Um, right here it is an FBM seller, which is a good sign. Um, and then we can see, interesting, okay, so this size actually sells a lot more right here because we can see there's more action on the keep it chart on this bottom line, which is actually the competition right here. So we can see it has seven, then it went down to five, goes up a little bit. We are so at a 22 cost um, right here. That puts us about 10 bucks, probably about 47% ROI. Not bad whatsoever um, right there. So that's the first winner of the day right here. Let's see, are any of these other ones in stock? Let's see, dark marina blue. Let's see, it's sometimes annoying. You got to kind of navigate the colors here because um, sometimes it doesn't show options to actually click. So what we can do is go down here, variations, or what we can do is just type in dark marina blue right here, Nike sweatpants, and see if uh, there's a listing on Amazon right here. But nice thing is, say I just found that on my own, you know, I probably buy 10 units right there, lock in about 100 bucks profit and uh, get the ball rolling for the day right here. Okay, so let's see. So we have an XL and a double XL in the dark marina blues right here. XL. Yeah, okay, 35 bucks. We can buy it for 29. That absolutely doesn't work. We can see we would lose $7 profit. Um, so or we would lose $7 if we were to sell that. So I definitely don't like the look of that right here. Okay, uh, these look cheap. We are smoke gray um, Nike dry fit woven shorts for 20. Or, okay, cool. Okay, definitely like to look at some of those other colors as well too. Right here, nine inch woven shorts. Okay, it's looking like we got a couple listings right here. Have to do some navigation work. Okay, so on this one, we can see the sales rank is 404,000 right here, which is way too high. You wanna stay below 100,000. Royal blue, black, light photo blue. Okay, that's a little different. Right here, this is actually only one variation right here. It's only the black XL, so we're passing on that too. Right here, but let's see, light photo blue, so that doesn't match. Gunsmoke, anthracite, what, they, what do they have? Obsidian, mm-hmm. Oh, and it's got like the blue right there. All right, so probably not gonna be able to do anything right there, but we can take a look just in general. This is a 15,000 sales rank, right? So this product does sell well. Right, so we can go ahead and take a look at some of these and see if we can locate them um, on a different website right here. Anthracite, okay. I super like the look of this. Now are these, let's see. So I think this is a different ski right here, but these are nice and 16 bucks. Dry fit eight inch shorts. Let's plug these in right here. Dry training shorts, okay. All right, and then let's hop down to variations right here. So now mind you, right, we're paying 16 bucks. This looks like Nike.com is a sale going on today too, um, right here. So let's see, so that's a black small tall, although they don't have that in stock. Okay, black, white, double XL is 41, and we can pick that up for 16 bucks right here. So that is a great product, my friends, right? So we can pay 20, right? And then we want to take 20% off that, so we multiply it by 0.8 right there to get the difference and we can see $11 profit 68% ROI now we do want to have sales tax factored in so we probably take another you know five to ten percent off based on your state right there but that is a nice beautiful thing and the nice thing about stuff with variations is there's actually other sizes too right so it's like an extra large is at 40 that probably makes sense right a large is at 35 right we can take a look at the keep a chart on that and see okay price is trending down a little bit but we are you know nice and profitable on an item like this we can see Historically, we're profitable basically the whole time, right? So this is probably a pretty safe skew to go after right here. So um, another nice winning item right there. What was interesting is that we looked up a different product and we found a different product that was good, but you just start going down these rabbit holes and such. You can do some pretty good stuff right here. Okay, let's see, core purple. Mm -hmm. See what we got. Okay, um, so that doesn't have the black swoosh, unfortunately. Um, let's see, legend short sleeve tee. Okay, so we want... Purple with the black swoosh. Uh, sometimes it's a little confusing stuff that has multiple listings like that. Um, let's see, are these, okay. So they only have three of these in stock. So let's take a look. I, I got a good feeling about this at 15 bucks though.
One black and white though, okay. Let's see. Okay, dry fit Milo T and white. White reflective silver, fifteen bucks. Okay. Okay, those are not the same though. Damn, is there really not a good listing for these? You can also uh, Im Google image search this and see if it uh, see if an Amazon listing pops up as well. Okay, that put us into a different realm <laughs> of the Amazon. Let's see, really not Nike Myler. Oh, here we go. Damn, okay, it showed there's black and white, but I'm not uh, seeing the game royal right here. Oh, cool, okay, these are very, very profitable right here. Okay, so now this is interesting, right? So there's some important nuance here. So see how it says um, 146K rank right here? So if we go ahead and refresh this, I think this is a brand new listing that was created really, really recently. Let's see, because it's not giving me any data on keep up. Let's go. So we're paying 15 right here. Let's see. Royal blue. Yeah. Okay. So you see how these listings were just created right here. Just thinking logically, like this is a nice common color. I do think these would sell. Um, they all got really, really low competition too. So it's a little bit of a risk, but at a 15 cost for a nice t-shirt like this, I just feel like the nice thing is we're pretty protected and that these can go down to like 32 and we're still making four bucks a piece right there you know what i mean we can see that these sell based on the competition right it's just a little bit lower volume right so if i were to grab these i would do a small test order on a bunch but like there's a lot of amazon sellers that would buy a product like this right i've always been pretty good at product research so i've kept a little bit more stringent standards right there but like we can see like those are super cool right like there, there's a lot of people who would buy those right there and it's you know everything works right that the let's see come caught 20 Pink foam. All right. Well, I like I like what we're looking at on these a lot. Let's see, we got a lot of these weird colors. Barely green. We found like probably like you know several winning products so far, and it's just navigation. It's like you guys can all go ahead and open up this Dick Sporting Goods stuff on your own and rock and roll through it too. You know what I mean? And just take a look. It's like okay, what looks cheap right here? Let's go over reference out on Amazon. See what we can do, and we can make money flipping name brand products on Amazon. All right. Let's see. Barely green right here. Okay, let's see, barely green. Barely green, okay. Let's see, 32, we can pay 19, that's not quite good. Um, right there, we will, let's, let's hop in variations, because they got a bunch of these weird colors on dicks, right? And we're paying like 20 bucks a piece. So let's see what weird colors are showing up here. Let's see, mineral clay. University red. Okay, they don't have that. It's a lot of like these green colors and stuff. Light green spark. Nope. Okay, vivid green. Super cheap though. Barely green. Okay. Four. Oh, those are big sizes though. I doubt they're going to have those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They don't have like the 3X right there. Vivid green. Okay. Do we have vivid green? Boom. Okay. Let's see, Vivid Green double X out, cool. Yes, yeah, so that's a winner right there. Yeah, because we can see we're at like 37, we can pay um, super, super cheap for this guy. Go over to Dick's Sporting Goods right here. Ooh, actually, well, that Mineral Clay, good too. Yeah, Vivid Green right here. Ah, the Vivid Green double X is out of stock right here, but we can see that Mineral Clay one, if we go right here. Let that one go, Mineral Clay, yeah. We go extra large and a medium. Right there, or yeah, they got one next to it that's the same thing right there, size large right here, 15 bucks, 53. All right, well, that is absolutely fantastic right there. That gives us $22 profit, 150% ROI right there. And we'd see this product does sell looking at the Keepa, right? Because it has gone out of stock right there and everything. So that's cool. So you can see there's, there's tons of money to be made with this stuff. You just got to know, you know, what deals are going on and such and, you know, be able to take advantage of this stuff. And everything but those shorts are definitely good there's probably other variations in there that are good too right yeah it's like vivid green was right here yeah vivid green they have a small in stock right large would have been good at 15 unfortunately it's not in stock right what about a small though it's like okay 21 is definitely not good but those mineral ones were absolutely good right and there was probably a time where the other size were in stock too 
right? Then there's going to be a couple variations to buy um, right there and everything. So that's really, really good stuff. Right, let's take a look at these uh, cross dye t-shirts. We can make money on these too. But definitely take time. Like, go look at these deals on your own, you know, as you're as you're doing your own product research. And you can do some pretty good stuff. Uh, right, let's see. Let's Google image search this. Sometimes when you're dealing with something that might have tons and tons of colors, it makes sense to just right-click and Google image search it just so you can see if you can match an Amazon listing. Right there, like, let's see. Right here. It's like a major pro tip for, uh, for product research. Black. Oh, wow. These are actually in stock right here. Either way, this is like a pretty good deal for a personal item. That's another byproduct of selling on Amazon is that you're going to be able to find tons of personal products really, really cheap too and everything. But that's definitely not in stock right there. But we can see we found several, several winners right here. And it's like, okay, Snipes is a good deal. Why not go look for other products on Snipes? right or why not clean through the rest of these sticks clearance stuff the way we did for this video right you're just you're gonna find stuff if you put in the work and it's just necessary to get through that period of not being good to the point to where you can be good in the future basically right there and if like let's take a look at these right here challenger brief shorts extra large right here double xl cool okay yeah 14 bucks like could i see those at 30 plus definitely right completely yeah, let's see. Challenger 7 insurance. Okay. Let's see. Blue Void. Obsidian. Yeah, they got two of these Obsidian ones left in stock right there. Boom. Yeah, okay. Oh, that Blue Void, that color's not matching. My bad. Right there. Let's see if they have these anywhere. Challenger 9 insurance. Oh, obsidian blue cool here we go oh okay they got some size out of stock and the ranks really really high on this too so um we pass on that let's see right here obsidian rank a little high right 108 but like that's fine especially if you're newer right here and we can see yeah boom 15 dollars right there boom uh seven dollars profit on that we can see pretty new listing here but based on the way the rest of this listing sells i assume these will sell too in the 100k rank and let's see black silver ones oh we're really really good yeah the black silver ones are going to be moving quicker too um right there because it's a black color so it makes sense that it'd be doing better yes yeah, so we can see like if these black ones were in stock oh which they actually are okay cool so this is probably the best item we found so far today yeah 14 22 35 we can see it's been profitable you know the vast majority of the past couple months right here it's been 40 plus down there at 35 recently we can see competition is trending down in terms of the past couple of days and such but cool i hope you guys enjoy this product research uh tutorial if you're watching this on the day uh of prime day right when a lot of these retailers are having sales get after it. there's a ton of money you made you got endless hours of stuff you can watch on my channel if you want to work directly with me check out the link in the description to apply for mentorship and either way i appreciate you guys watching go check out some other videos let's get after it